one modder is trying to create a dream game for Star Wars fans. While games like EA's Battlefront 2 capture some aspects of the show, we've never seen it fully realized in a game, with all the characters, battles, and style. That's why I'm excited to tell you about a project that I recently discovered. The Clone Wars Recreated is a game being made in the Jedi Academy engine, and it's aiming to let you play all seven seasons of the Clone Wars and beyond. It's incredibly ambitious, and I'm excited to watch as the project progresses. Right now, there is an early showcase build that you can download and play for free. It's important to keep your expectations in check as this is clearly unfinished, but it's there so you can see the vision. The first thing I noticed was how well the Clone Wars art style has been translated, especially for the clones, and seeing all the different units in the game is awesome. The game has Phase 1 troopers, ARC troopers, and even Delta Squad from Republic Commando. The developer has taken many voice lines directly from the show, so many scenes will play out exactly as they did in the Clone Wars. One rocket for the launcher. Against a battalion. <laughs> Forget it, we've lost. So certain of defeat are you? From the main menu, you can select from some training missions or preview campaign, which includes missions from the first Clone Wars arc. Under the training tab, you can select from simple objective missions, a training area to test out the mechanics, and a more open, battlefront-like mode where you have multiple lives and are defending objectives from advancing droids. There's even one where you play as Delta Squad, moving through a droid ship, and you can order your squad mates to different terminals, like in Republic Commando. Lastly, there is a level where you can choose from various classes with different loadouts and assault a droid base. After defeating waves of battle droids, you make your way to the control tower and destroy the tactical droid. It's a visual spectacle, but it's an extreme example of the engine being pushed beyond its limits, causing major performance issues. That aside, it's a joy to fight alongside clones with blaster fire everywhere in a large-scale battle. The campaign is more mixed right now, as some parts feel earlier and offer a rougher experience. The first mission is pretty standard, playing as a clone fighting alongside Master Yoda, who has force powers, and an invisible lightsaber. Uh, believe me, we'll get to that. There are a few moments in this mission that showcase a strength and weakness of the mod in its current state. That is, how many droids it can show on screen at one time. It really felt like the show in all its chaos, although your fellow clones would go down often because they were standing in the open, which is strangely fitting for a Clone Wars game. The downside to this is it felt like the engine was struggling with performance and the game would shrug at times. The developer has made many changes to the engine, but it feels like it's being pushed to its absolute limit. I did find that turning off shadows helped with this. Overall, this section is a bit one note, but it gets the job done. The next part of the level, however, was frustrating as you play as Master Yoda facing droids and a tank boss, but your lightsaber is invisible and only lets you deflect blaster bolts. I love the idea of this, and the tank looks great, but without the lightsaber working, and with no way to heal, I was unable to make it past this part. I managed to destroy the tank a few times, but right after, they sent in several droidicas and finished me off. Maybe it's a skill issue, so let me know if you can make it further. I hope this bug gets fixed soon. While this content is not playable for the public now, looking at the mod page you can see many images taken from moments from every season of the show in the game. It all looks really impressive. The developer has also said that they want to add content from Attack of the Clones, The Bad Batch, and the upcoming fan animation Tucktales. No timeline has been given as to when we'll see a more complete version, but I'm confident that the wait will be worth it. Through this entire project, the passion and love for Star Wars is clear. The developer has said that he's been working on the project in various capacities for the last 10 years. Through all the updates and screenshots, it's clear that a lot of work has gone in and there's a ton of content that's been made that hasn't been finished or released yet. It seems like there's a lot to look forward to. As if all that wasn't enough, the developer who goes by CT7777 said that the Clone Wars recreated on the Jedi Academy engine is only a testing ground and hopes to eventually port the project to Unreal Engine 5. He also plans to launch a YouTube channel and Patreon, but has yet to do so at the time of recording. 
he does have a link tree and PayPal, so if you want to support the project, that and all my sources will be in the description below. If you want to play, you'll need two files. One is the main showcase file, and the other is a recently released patch. Simply follow the install instructions in the description of the mod page. It's really simple and doesn't require an install. If you're excited for the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, be sure to let me know and make sure to subscribe, as I'm really excited to talk about that once that comes out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.